Hi, I'm Patrick Sweeney, author of RFID for Dummies. I'm here today with another RFID for Dummies lesson. Today we're going to talk about the difference between near field and far field in RF communications. Near field communications, or NFC, something that's been in the press quite a lot lately. Apple is putting it in their iPhone, Nokia is putting it in their phone, and even Google started to get into the fray. But most people don't know the difference between the near field and the far field, and they don't understand the limitations of near field communications or the benefits of UHS communications. There is a big difference between NFC and communication in a close range and UHF communication in the far field. I love the way you move. Thanks Patrick, I'm Chetan Karani with Odin and today we're going to discuss near field communication or short range RFID versus UHF long range RFID. Now what is NFC? NFC stands for near field communication. It's an extremely short range RFID system that leverages magnetic coupling for communication between the reader and the tag. Now let's talk about UHF RFID. It, it uses E field for energizing the tag and the tag backscatters the energy and the tag ID back to the reader. Now NFC because of the magnetic coupling it's limited by the read ranges and also the readers are limited by, based on standard to just transmit a certain amount of RF energy that gives you a very short read distance. Now some of the disadvantages of NFC are that so for example a gaming system where a bunch of people are playing a game and they want the system to recognize them. If it is less than four centimeters and if they're to continuously be in close proximity to the reader, then they really cannot enjoy the game. Whereas UHF RFID, because of the long read ranges, they can, be, they can actively participate in the game and at the same time the gaming system is recognizing them. A very good example of uh, long range RFID is at whale resorts where skiers have an RFID tag or an RFID wristband and they just pass through a gantry before they sit into a ski lift. The gantry reads their tags at about a distance of 20 to 30 feet and they can go skiing but at the same time they can virtually co compete with their friends because the RFID system is recognizing them at such a far distance. So let's just talk about the different form factor tags. This one specifically is a near field uh, wristband. This gives us a read distance of less than a couple of inches. So I need, really need to be uh, either touching the kiosk or uh, in near uh, field to get a successful read. Whereas this is a UHF wristband, a very similar form factor, but can give us a read distance of about a foot. But in case if I need even a longer read distance, I can use a, a lanyard type card and I can, I can get read distances of about three or four feet and if I have a gantry or a portal I can get read distances of about 20 to 30 feet using this specific card. And these cards are designed in such a way that they can work in very close proximity to a human body uh, and yet give us very good read distances based on orientation.